Hello, I'm Kenneth Lee. Presently recognized as Hanshi, Eighth Don in Shotokan Karate. I have different ranking other systems of martial art. For the most part, I'm going to give you an idea of how I began my karate training. Now, my primary goal was to be a competitor, a champion competitor. I didn't realize I can do that while simultaneously training others and being an instructor. I was fortunate enough to become, you know, high ranking in Shotokan Karate, but I also studied other arts and also embarked on creating other systems, such as Totoru Bujitsu. I started at the League's Educational Culture Center in Newark, and I began teaching it for free. And the organization, the administrators, saw the work I was doing, and they figured, you know, you're a hardworking individual, we like what you do, we're gonna put you on the payroll. How many st students can you teach? And I started out with 60 students. At the time, I was like 19 years old, and I kept going. To this day, I haven't stopped. Don't intend to stop, you know, and that's what it's all about, passing on the positive things that you have learned to others, that they may have an opportunity to be of a positive entity in their community and encourage others along their way through their life's journey as we and my teachers before me have done. And now, here we are in West Orange on Main Street, rebuilding our group to perpetuate the essence of karate do. Maintaining the traditions of old, the values of old, and the aspects utilized for today's society that gives us an advantage that we may be strong, intelligent, and useful in this time as martial artists and true practitioners of the way. Now, the way I got involved with the world record was that we had a group in New Jersey, California, Florida, and New York, and Japan. We were all gonna do apple cutting because our system is recognized of, on doing action cutting. Things being thrown, kicked in the air, cut, things in motion, live cutting. So we're gonna to toss apple, cut and draw, put back, and see who came up with the highest number. And we're going to proceed at the same time. So we're here in America, guys in Japan, we're doing it late at night. Nevertheless, one guy made it to 18 apples. Someone else made it to 15 apples, 14. And I made it to 21 apples, cutting. And we put in all the statistics, everybody came up. I didn't realize until the last moment I, I was on top. And I was informed that you should send it to Guinness. And I said, oh, I'm not concerned about that. I was doing the routine because I was requested because of the instructor and so, and so on. And Okada Sensei, who's the head of our system of Iaido, said that, no, you need to send it in. So I sent it in. And next thing I know, I got a call six months later from Regis and Kelly to appear on their show. And I was quite surprised. And I was brought onto the show. And that's where I began, where I topped my record uh, and uh, moved forward in receiving higher levels in this achievement with Guinness Book, Guinness Book World Record. I was also on the Guinness Book team where they took me into uh, different countries and performed and constantly trying to, you know, break my record. Italy, London, Japan, very, it was very, very, very exciting and fun. I'm glad I really got involved with it. And now I am one of the highest ranking people in the system along with Okada Sensei. So we're trying to enhance and show all the other aspects of our training, which is cutting bamboo, chopsticks, candles, other objects in place and in motion. So you'll get to see some other things soon, but look forward to this here. And I want to uh, pay my greatest respects to my teachers before me and thank them all for what they have taught me and strive diligently to maintain the attitude of excellence.